Many have asked how I zoom, spin and rotate my models inside of Fusion 360 with such an ease. Questions like, are my wrists made out of vanilla because it's so smooth? No, no it's not. It's because of this company and one of these. Now before we get too deep into details, it is important for me to tell you that I did not get paid to do this video. However, 3D Connection have been kind enough to lend me the devices you're gonna see in this. Well, that's actually not true. We should probably start from the beginning. Back in the mid 2000s, I bought this one here. See, I started to do a lot of design and cam work and after 10 hours in front of the computer, my hand started hurting from clicking the mouse. My wrist was really just irritated. So I bought one of these. Now this is a space navigator and if you go to 3D Connections website today, it's $109. Now that's a lot of money. I try to look at it a lot like another tool, like if it was a new hammer or if it was a measuring caliber or something in that order. I was so happy with the device that I actually wrote a blog post about it on catcamstuff.com. 3D Connection reached out and I have been a fan ever since. These devices works with pretty much any drawing program you know out there. I have used it with Mastercam, with SolidWorks, I've used it with CamWorks, of course Autodesk Inventor, Inventor HSM, HSM Works, and Fusion 360. Now this is my current device. This is a Space Mouse Pro Wireless, and this one cost $329 US. But before we start talking too much about models and prices, let's clarify what this device does. A 3D connection mouse works in a pair with your regular mouse. It has two things. There is a controller cap on the top, and then there is customizable buttons, depending on kind of like what version you get. Let's make the comfortable robot lady explain the controller cap. The key to all 3D connection navigation devices is the controller cap. Pressure sensing technology allows the cap to be a virtual extension of you. Manipulate the cap to simultaneously pan, zoom, and rotate 3D objects, or fly through three-dimensional worlds with an agility you can't attain with a keyboard and mouse. Optical sensors give the cap precise control of six separate degrees of motion, and intuitive software allows you to accelerate or decelerate actions with a gentle touch. So the way I look at it is that the controller cap is like holding the part in your hand and be able to spin it around, zooming in and out, while you can point and click with your mouse wherever you need on the part. If you're a Fusion 360 user, this is like eliminating holding down shift while holding down the middle mouse button to rotate and also scroll the wheel to zoom in and out. Then there is the customizable buttons. Now, my old one here has two buttons on the side that is programmable, where this one here, as you can see, has a lot more different types of buttons on it. The software is cool. It knows what CAD software you use. You can see here that it says Fusion 360. And you can assign all kinds of functions and buttons, like extrude, sketch tools. But honestly, I don't use the programmable buttons at all. Besides a little bit of palm support right here when you're holding your hand, this model here does the exact same thing as the newer model. And uh, this controller cap, that's worth all the money for me. I also have to point out the quality of these 3D connection devices. I think that this quality is absolutely top notch. This controller cap feels just as smooth on a 13 year model as it does on the new ones. So it doesn't really matter if you're buying a $100 version or a $300 version, the quality is really nice. This thing is really heavy and stainless steel. It's really nice. It looks like something that 
maybe belonged in like a Mercedes Benz or something like that. In case that you do want to treat yourself to something nice, 3D Connection do sell these kits where you get a wireless space navigator and a wireless mouse that all runs on one receiver. Uh, they sent me this one here. It's about $199 on their website. I took it on my latest business trip and it's really smooth, worked really, really nice. And it comes in these really nice protective cases. So when you have them like in your laptop bag, really nice sturdy cases that is both one for the mouse and uh, one for the 3D navigator here. Really sturdy stuff that can really take a bath. In conclusion, it's important to state that you don't need one of these devices to run your CAD software. Also, it takes about a week or so to get used to it. In the beginning, you touch the controller and your piece just flies right off the screen. In my opinion, if you're spending less than 30 minutes a week inside of your CAD software, I would not blame you for going ahead and spend your money somewhere else. If I did run a engineering department, I do think I would find the money to go out and buy these and even be okay if a few people didn't adapt to them and decided not to use them. Quick view on what I'm using, how I'm taking that zoom and rotating and kind of my opinion about them. Take care.